All right, hey, what is up, everyone? Sorry, I, I, I got buzzed out on watching the TMZ commercial, but uh, look what I've got, guys. Um, and if you're wondering why the cable is down on the counter surface right here, uh, that's because I, I, I broke it this morning. Actually, no, this afternoon. I set this one up to dry, and as you can see, there is a bit of a skew here. But I kind of like it because it really kind of reminds me of how these things bumped and rocked around in the movie anyway. So I had to do a little bit of minor repair. And in the process, I busted off the tiny little nub that was present there anyway. Let's see if I can just... There is just like maybe a tiny little nub, not even not even a sixteenth of an inch. To secure it onto the uh, the pod, so um, I bumped it this afternoon trying to fix this this piece right here, uh, and uh, I thought I, I thought I was going to knock off one of the, uh, the the vents up here, but those stayed. But the cable busted. Along with that, I ripped off this little piece right here. So uh, hopefully, when I get this back on, it'll be a better, better uh cable so but but overall I have to say with the exception of the decals uh this kit is really really cool uh accuracy I I don't know but I've seen pictures of the new one coming out from Ravel and Ravel usually does a very good job but I can already s see that it's missing a lot of detail like like this piece right here is, you can see, I mean, there's quite a bit of dimension to it in the Ravel kit. It is, uh, it's just one, one piece. I mean, it's all a solid piece, but, uh, lots of detail, lots of things to paint, lots of greeblies to glue on, so be prepared to glue on tiny little pipes like this one right here. Um, I didn't have to worry about too much uh, flash on, on these parts. There were some pipes and some smaller parts that, that did have it, but for the most part, there weren't a lot of seam lines, not a lot of uh, flash, not a lot of sanding to do. Uh, there's a minor bit of filling that you'll have to do on, on the seams, but really, I mean, it, it, it this thing goes together very well. Uh, there's There's some... Some filling, some sanding that has to go on with the, the pod itself, but uh, it's an intricate little kit. Lots of tiny little parts, and I, you know, for the most part, I, I think everything looks to scale. I think everything looks pretty, uh, for my two cents, looks pretty accurate, and the base is quasi cool as well. Uh, it, it's It's got its flaws, it, it, you know, but. Those can be worked around. A any skilled modeler can work around the flaws that, that, that are apparent in this kit. But, I mean, anyone anyone can put this model together with a little bit of time and a little bit of patience. The windshield, I don't know if I can get this on camera, but the windshield is nothing more than a piece of, piece of uh, acetate that's kind of... Uh, cut the, the size and the shape, but uh, much better than a regular piece of plastic. It's very thin, it looks, everything looks to scale again. The antenna, I mean, they're a little thick, but I mean, it's not, there's really nothing that glares out in this kit as, as a problem for me. Uh, probably one of the, 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 the easiest builds for me on such an intricate kit and and still surprising for an AMT kit that that they they put something out like this uh, so the kit puts itself together almost so uh, as you can see I've got a few repairs to go on this one but there's one kit that I got uh, let me see if I can make a room I told my wife that I would not be getting any new kits, but 
I had a moment of weakness, and I, I found this one. And I know, I think this is a repop of an old monogram kit. But this is the P61 Black Widow. I'm not sure when I'll start building this one, but... Uh, I, re I have fond memories of building this as a, a young boy. Uh, and uh, it was probably one of the first model kits that I, that I put together. Put together badly with, with glue running down the seams and... Uh, it, it was bad, but again, it was probably one of the coolest little World War II era planes that I've ever seen. Uh, I I was waiting for this one to come out for a couple of years, and when I saw this, I I had to pick it up. But uh, as with all things, you know, I, I won't bother doing a kid review. I mean, the the kit's pretty good, and and I'll I'll actually do a a, a review when I actually get to building this, I'll pull it out and show you each sprue, but there's a ground crew, and it doesn't come with a flight crew, and it's only a problem because I like to to do all of my planes and such, and such as, uh, I, I like to do them flying, and such as, and because they don't have maps in the Iraq, and such as. Anyway, I'm rambling, but uh, I thought this was a cool little pickup for me. Uh, I don't know uh, what you guys think about it, but uh, I mean, it has raised panel lines, but uh, again, it's just a canvas for me to paint, so I don't mind it. Raised panel lines and gray panel lines, it depends on the model. This this was a, a nostalgic moment for me, so I had to pick it up and, and uh, get ready to build this one. So, uh, I'll see you guys later. This one is almost ready, ready to go, ready to hit the shelf. This one's going into the stash. And I think what I'm building next is uh, either going to be a Reliant, or I may even try to finish out the refit Enterprise that I've got, that I've had here for like three years now. Uh, but anyway, guys. I'm rambling again. I will catch you guys later. Have fun. Happy modeling. Uh, peace out.